So with some work, let's see a little bit more on heat. As with work, heat will be calculating or calculated depending on the type of process or system. For example, if it's open, closed, if it's uh, constant pressure, constant volume, other processes, uh, harder to, uh, to calculate or solve. Sometimes we even will need to apply the first law in order to calculate heat. Uh, because you know heat equals constant energies and maybe you cannot uh, get heat directly you will need to get this change of energies heat calculations will be included in the next uh, section some basics of course but if you want to go to more complex calculation go to the TD number three which is the first law we're going to make a lot of complex calculation there actually that's why it's the most important block, I think, the first law of thermodynamics. And yeah, as I did with work, let me give you some concepts of how we're going to know if our system or problem involves a little bit of heat. For example, heat is being applied. That will be, a, of course, an obvious one. It was cooled down by 20 joules. It makes a little bit uh, strange that cooled down, maybe you were expecting a temperature or you receive a energy value or it may be also said that it was cooled down to 25 celsius even though this is temperature you know that uh, heat might be correlated to a change in temperature who knows this is an adiabatic process so this means there is no heat exchange or mm, the process is kept with a cold liquid so probably there's heat exchange uh, heat is lost in the process at the rate of 15 kilojoules per second. That's pretty typical from uh, operations in which there is a lot of heat loss. And fire hits the system during 5 minutes at the rate of 20 kilojoules per minute. So you have time and you got here this rate. So multiply this and you will get the total heat there. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.